calling God of the Old Testament and God of the New Testament. I'm like, why, why is God so angry in the Old Testament and why is Jesus so nice in the New Testament? <laughs> like, did God have an identity crisis? Like, what happened? Um, and I didn't understand that until I actually literally heard that sermon that I was just mentioning to you because it just explained that, you know, no, God wanted to meet on that mountain with them. Um, so I'm going to, like, read a little bit about that to you. Um, and so, in Exodus, um, let's see, I think it's 19, yeah, okay, 19 verse 5, um, it says, If you will obey my voice and keep my covenant, you shall be my own possession among all peoples. And so then God asks Moses to have all the people consec consecrate themselves to be ready for the third day when God will come down and meet with them. And so God is like so looking forward to this now that I understand this a little bit better. And so, but he wants them to consecrate themselves, which means to set themselves apart, abstain from certain things, wash, be ceremonial, ceremonially clean um, for that time. And, um, and, and, but there's also, you know, there was um, a warning as well. And so Exodus 19 verse 16, it says, On the morning of the third day, there were thunders and lightning and a thick cloud upon the mountain and a very loud trumpet blast so that all the people that were in the camp trembled. Then Moses brought the people out of the camp to meet God and they took their stand at the foot of the mountain and Mount Sinai was wrapped in smoke. It's this canopy. It's private. It's special. Because the Lord descended upon it in fire and the smoke of it went up like the smoke of a kiln and the whole mountain quaked greatly. And the Lord said to Moses, in verse 21, go down and warn the people, lest they break through to the Lord to gaze, and many of them perish. So he had Moses con specific boundaries that were in place for their protection because of, you know, they could not stand before a holy God. You know, Jesus had not given his sacrifice yet. There were, there were ways that this had to be done, and God knew what they were. But it was his desire to meet with them. And after the covenant was given in the form of the tablets, the people were too afraid to meet with him. And they said to Moses in chapter 20, verse 19, You speak to us, and we will hear, but let not God speak to us, lest we die. Yeah. And Moses answers, Do not fear, for God has come to prove you, and that the fear of him may be before your eyes that you do not sin. The fear. Yeah, so the presence... It's, it's something very sacred. It's something very special. It's powerful. It's life-changing. Yeah. But there's a fear, but it's a good fear. It's not the, it's not enemy. It's the enemy's fear. It's yeah. not a manipulating, controlling fear. It's a fear that brings us clarity of our conviction. It convicts us that cannot exist in the presence of God. And anything that cannot exist in the presence of God is not good. So we don't want it. We don't, we don't want to keep it anyway. So it's a blessing. It's a blessing. But you can understand why they were afraid. Um, and when Jesus, you know, when Jesus was...